Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Klaus and thank you so much for tuning in to today's Clash of Clans Strategy Guide. Today we're going to be talking about Town Hall 5 and the Laboratory. What research projects should you do first? Now, there's something I need to tell you before you do this, before you follow this guide, make sure you maxed out your Town Hall 4 first. That means you've finished your laboratory, you've finished your walls, you've finished your defenses, everything is maxed at Town Hall 4 before you move on to Town Hall 5. This guide depends on it. If you have not done that, please uh, save the video, like, subscribe, and uh, come back to it once you're ready. Now, if you are ready, let's get this guide started. Town Hall 5 upgrades for the laboratory will in total take you about 12 days and 12 hours. The laboratory itself will take 12 hours, and then the remaining upgrades will take you 12 days, assuming you keep them going back to back, which is definitely the recommended course of action. If there's ever a question between should you do something in your laboratory or should you upgrade a building on your base, you always upgrade your laboratory first. That is always going to be your first priority. Now, there's only five choices in the laboratory for you to work on, uh, so let's just give you the recommended list and the reasoning behind it. The first recommended troop you should upgrade are the Barbarians. Uh, at Town Hall 5, Mass Barbarian, literally 100% uh, max full army of Barbarians on a base can almost always wipe out the collectors and mines and get you all the loot for farming. So, Barbarian naturally should be first. It's also a pretty cheap upgrade, and it only takes one day. So, upgrade your Barbarians first. They're key, they're cheap, they're quick, and you can do almost any farming that you need to do with your Mass Barbarian. Now, you'll notice that sometimes you run into a base that you have to uh, reach over walls to get some of the loot. And that can be done with two different ways. The first way is archers. And that actually is the next uh, the next recommended upgrade for your laboratory is archers. They reach over the walls, they, they evade the walls basically, and steal the loot um, while your barbarians are in front of them tanking the damage from the defenses. Uh, you've moved on from mass barbarian to barch at this point. Uh, mass barbarian, mass archer, half and half, Drop your Barbarians first, they take the damage from the cannons and archer towers, and then your archers take the loot from across the wall. Really good attack strategy, and uh, something I use even as a Town Hall 9, so make sure that you're very familiar with that. The third recommended upgrade is the Wizards, guys. The Wizards are a very powerful troop. They do tons of damage but they're very weak. They get shot down really easily. They're uh, a more than one troop capacity, so you can't hold very many of them, but they are very powerful. If you use them correctly, put them with a group of archers, or just put them behind your giants or behind a group of barbarians, and the wizards will shoot over the wall, just like the archers, and take way more loot at it per second than the archers would. That's because they are very powerful. Uh, you just have to be very careful with them. That's why they're number three, not number two, because the archers, there's a little more leeway in how you can use an archer. While the wizards, if you drop them just a little too far to the left or a little too far to the right, they're going to get shot down. So you got to be very careful with wizards. The fourth and uh, almost final upgrade in our upgrade list are the goblins, guys. The goblins are really really useful troop, especially at higher town hall levels, because of their ability to take twice the damage on resource building. So mines and collectors, uh, gold and elixir storages, town halls and clan castles, all of these buildings take twice the damage whenever a goblin is firing upon them. Now, they're behind the wizards, barbarians, and archers because they're a specialty troop. You don't need them, but if you can learn how to use them, they're the best at farming. Uh, so, recommend uh, upgrading those fourth and um, directly ahead of our final upgrade, the Lightning Spell. So, at Town Hall 5, you actually unlock the Lightning Spell in your Spell Factory. There's no real super useful way to use the Lightning Spell as a Town Hall 5. Uh, you can use it to Lightning down on Clan Castle troops or maybe a full gold mine or Elixir Collector if you run into one. But really, they're not super, super useful so that's why the last on the list and you get three levels recommend you upgrade all three of those levels before you can consider yourself a max town hall 5 in the laboratory and that actually wraps up our list guys uh, town hall 5 is quite short like i said only takes about two weeks to max out your laboratory 
and then you're ready to go to Town Hall 6. But don't forget, max out your walls, your, uh, your defenses, and everything, all of your buildings before you move on to Town Hall 6. And um, you're good to go. So, guys, that is it for today's guide. Uh, short and sweet and to the point. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments whether you did, if you have any ideas or questions. I'm sure somebody, if not myself, will be around to answer it and help you out more if it is required. I'll also be looking forward to Town Hall 6 Research Guide coming live very, very soon to a YouTube video near you. <laughs> that is it, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't joined the Klaus family. And I will see y'all again next time. Love you guys. Peace.